What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Gloss Garage where we make detailing simple. And today I have something special for you guys. I'll be doing it in depth on how I tackle my deep interiors. Only a deep interior detail will be done today. I have a 2018 Audi A4. The customer's wife's friend spilled some coffee. It went in between the seats, under the seats. Some went into the speaker on the passenger side, but we'll be taking care of that. And we'll be also using a couple products, which I'll show you today. And yes, so they spill some coffee. It does smell in there, but it just recently happened. So what we're gonna do is deep clean the whole interior, give it a complete refresh. And then from there, we're gonna do an odor elimination treatment from PNS um, detailing products. It's called their odor doc. And we're just gonna gas it out. It doesn't need no ozone treatment, nothing like that. We're gonna use the extractor, the steamer, the whole nine yards to give this a complete reset. And then after this, we will be doing a leather spray coating, the leather coat from Gion onto the leather seats to prevent and help repel dirt, water, and all that other stuff. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll flip the camera over. All right guys, so let's take a look inside the interior. So they did a pretty good job of cleaning out everything before bringing it over to me. So this is always a plus. Makes your job a lot easier and lets you focus more on the cleaning than let me take this out, let me take that out. I gotta take a couple things. But like I said, it's not the major. All I'll do is I'll vacuum the trunk and then I'll start putting the stuff in the bag. And yeah, but we're gonna clean the mats. This is the area that they said spilled some coffee in. So I'm gonna take care of these stains. Maybe I can do that trick that I showed you guys on that BMW M3 video on with the magic eraser. All it is is if it doesn't clean out with the steamer or the, or the cleaner, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that method to exfoliate that little top layer. And here, like I said, it's a, it's in rough shape a little bit, but we're gonna make it, it's not, it's not really too bad, let's be honest, but you know, we're gonna just revamp, carpet extract everything, steam clean everything, and put that leather protectant and just, this is before, so everybody remembers. And the after is just gonna look amazing, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down and I'm gonna start vacuuming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chime in on this point. So what I like to do is I like to have two rounds of vacuuming. Usually I do about 90% of all the dirt and everything because I will be in and out the vehicle a lot, vacuuming and all that stuff. So it makes no sense to do 100% vacuum when I am going to do it again. But what I do focus on is on the seams, on the cup, you know the cup holders all that other stuff but the carpet i'll do like a 90 percent clean because i know i'm going in and out of the vehicle all right guys so i just finish doing the initial vacuum. I just like to do an initial vacuum just because of the simple fact that I will be going in and out of this vehicle a bunch of times and I will be introducing some dirt and dust over time. So I do an initial one, which is like 90% clean. Then from there, I start doing my interior wipe down with the PNS Express Deep, uh, cleaner and then I took out this from the center console 
and then here they have like the tire the tire uh, cap but I'm gonna put these inside the bag that I showed you guys earlier that way they don't lose them and then this I just steam clean and clean it nice and fresh and then yeah so go ahead and start with my initial wipe down I'm gonna take a quick little second. So as I'm cleaning the mats real quick and as the power clean is working on those rubber mats, let it dissolve, break down all that dirt and grime. I'm gonna show you guys the interior. So this is pretty much how it looks. Like I said, 90% clean with the vacuum because like I said, I will be going in and out. There are some little dust there. Dust in between, maybe a little bit in the seats. That's all the way to the seam. Um, and with the steam, with the steamer, this is all gonna come out. But yes, this is why I say I'm doing this 90% because I'm coming in and out like crazy. And like I said, I removed that. So like I said, I am using the PNS Interior Express Cleaner, so that's my favorite one. It's very mild, but on top of that, again, I will be using the steamer on the leather seats to help fully clean and dissolve everything for the proper bonding of the leather coat. All right guys, so a quick one. So I just finished cleaning everything back here with the Express Detailer. But this is, this looks like it was damaged before. And here is like the patchwork that they did because the texture is definitely different than this one. And you can tell, but they did a pretty good job on it, in my opinion. So, I mean, it fooled me. I didn't notice it until it was cleaned, so yeah. All right guys, so what I did was, as I'm letting this saturate the lightning fast over this area, I even put some in between there. And he said somewhat under the seats, but I'm not removing the seats. That's not what is part of this detail, but I did spray a bunch of that lightning fast to break down all that dirt, that grime. I did put some power clean in there but it just wasn't like, oh, this is gonna stain plastic or anything. It's just literally half a capsule in there just to supercharge the cleaning ability and the degreasing ability of the product, right? That way we could get all that coffee smell and grime out. So while that's saturating, what I'm gonna do is I steam clean the whole interior. While this saturates, then I do the, extra the extraction and then I steam clean the carpets after the extraction and that way we're all set and then yeah so I'll be back all right so 
before you start steaming anything, you really need to be careful with sensitive areas. Here, like I said, I steam clean everything. I steam clean the seats, the dashboards, the wheels. But I bought this steamer a little over two and a half years ago. And this was still my budget uh, steamer while I started the business. And yes, um, the business was still growing at that time. And you know, I bought this budget one. So you gotta be careful. You wanna blow it away at first because it spits out water. And then from there, you really need to be careful and just know your equipment, right? You don't wanna be inside deep trying to scrub off everything. You're not supposed to do that. The steamer is just keep it away, steam across, kill any bacteria with the steam. It will clean the surface and leave a nice smooth finish. But I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning. And from there, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm gonna fast forward this. All right guys, so it just started to rain, but it's all right, just in time. I steamed the whole interior, everything inside out. I steam cleaned everything. So now I'm just gonna back it in because all that's really left is just the carpet extraction. And that's it, so I'll show you guys. I'm gonna flip you guys over on what's left to do. Like I said, I let that lightning fast just seep into the carpets, help pull up all that dirt and grime, soften it up to remove those stains and those oils and all that other stuff, especially when I supercharged it with power clean. So I'm gonna flip you guys over so you guys can see how the interior came out. Don't worry about the doors. I know it's getting wet, but yeah, so that's it. So yeah, so like I said, it started raining, but I'm gonna clean this, wipe this down right away. So look how clean it is. The whole backside is, all the seats, everything is just reset. There's no dirt, there's no grime, there's no nothing. The driver's side as well, everything is clean, no dust, everything is good. So I'm gonna back this up in a little bit, I'm gonna wipe down everything. And then I'm gonna go to the extraction process once I back it up into the garage. And yeah, that's about it. Then after that, I'm going to put the leather protectant on, like I said, and then the odor eliminator. So I'm gonna show you guys right here what I have. These are like the throwaways, which usually I throw these away after I use the steamer in the interior, but yeah, so I use this with the steamer on the carpets, on the floors, and then I throw them out. And yeah, so I'm gonna be using leather coat from Gion. It'll protect the leather for up to like five to six months. And then the PNS Odor Dock. And that's it. So let me just not delay the process and let's keep on going. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So I put this light that I usually use when I do my pen correction. I bought it in here just so you guys can see. But, like I said, I already saturated the inside with lightning fast and power plant, right? So, the owner of the vehicle said that some may have gone through the side and under the seats. So, I saturated everything with lightning fast and power clean. And now I'm gonna do the extraction process. So I'll move the, part, the first half, I'll move everything to the front because this is where most of the under part of the seat is. So I'll move the seat all the way up. That way I've got the small extractors that can go in here and start extracting all the areas that I already pre-treated. 
and this will help aid and lift everything as quickly as possible. So let's just move on with the process so you guys can see. And All right, so I brought you guys in. So yeah, so I finished extracting this fabric right here, everything in here. It's a little bit damp, but then we'll pass the steamer. I extracted everything from here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the recovery tank in a little bit so you, we can see how much we took out from this back seat. But I'm guessing most of it is in the front. So I will move all, I'll move all the seats back. And yeah, so let's see how much we did. This is a little bit damp with the steamer. It's gonna evaporate that water. I do use a microfiber towel over it, the ones that I told you that I throw away to uh, evaporate and help aid on that drying of the water. But the interior just looks pristine. Just look at it, super, super, super clean. And I can't wait to put on the spray leather so I can show you guys how I do that process. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're on the front side and let me just show you the recovery tank of what we took of that little bit in the back. It's dirty, I'm, that, that doesn't look like coffee, a little bit milky, but yeah, so I'm gonna continue extracting here. I'm gonna extract the whole front passenger side, the driver side, and the driver back side. So yeah, and then I'll show you how the recovery tank looks after I extract all four carpets. All right guys, so I'm just gonna bring you in close so I'll finish extracting this. It's a bit damp, but like I said earlier, it'll evaporate with the steamer to help dry the carpets, but I did take a lot of coffee. There's a bit of coffee staining here still. So I will I will use a APC. I'll use my power clean to clean up that plastic down there. But I held the extractor here and I was actually pulling up coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys on how it looks. The recovery tank is right here. It's foaming up because of the lightning fast and the power clean. Look, it's a bit dark. Definitely coffee in there, so took care of that. There's no more coffee. You don't gotta worry about that anymore. Um, yeah, so continue around the whole vehicle, and then from there, I'll show you guys how much I collected. Overall. We're done with the extracting process. Wasn't too much to extract on the other side. It was fairly clean, but this is everything afterwards. This is just one whole full. That's a, you know, obviously some dirt and stuff because the driver does, you know, when it rains and stuff like that, that was from that carpet. So it was just a mixture of everything. But now everything is fully clean, all the mats, everything. Now I'm just gonna show you guys how I put the leather coating on. And then from there, we will do the odor elimination treatment and then that's it. Everything is fully, fully clean. I'll pull it out in the sun, do the final uh, vacuum and that's it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Shake it up, even though I already shook it up a bunch. Spray, spray a lot. I 
spray a bunch inside this microfiber applicator and then I just wipe it, right? It's gonna leave a bit of like a satin matte, more of like a matte, but it will still give that sheen a bit. But just don't be afraid to apply a bunch, right? Because you want this to seep into the pores of the leather and actually bond. So you just apply it. like so All right guys, so it's 5.33. I am running a bit behind because I did tell the customer 5.15, but the problem was that I forgot to turn on the vehicle as I prep everything else. You gotta put the visors all the way down and I gotta put the floor mats to block this, but pretty much is, this is the odor elimination. It's in here, it's a treatment, and there's a fill line. So you fill it up with, you know, cold water and just let it, um, evaporate in here it's we want to have the temperature as hot as possible so I just left it at 80 is 78 between 75 and 80 that's the sweet spot for me and look at the interior it's just still just stunning everything is just super clean and yes the last thing I got to wipe down when they get here I always like to do that final touch-up is the infotainment screen but that is it everything else is clean I just want this to evaporate and get this going right so i will see you guys in about an hour and yeah that's about it so i'll see you guys in a bit i'm gonna put this on i gotta put the floor mats back in that i cleaned cover up the seals to make sure it gets maximum uh dwell and concentration of the gas and odor so i'll see you guys once i'm done peace yeah, from here we just let the car run for an hour but here we go, to the store. I don't know if you can see through the inside, but put the mats, the floor mats there to cover up. All right, guys, we're back. So it's 5.45. We left it in there for an extra 15 minutes. So the actual instructions right here is an hour and 10 minutes. So we're good. So pretty much that we're all crystal clear. So. Now let's see how it smells like. So I'm going to open up the doors. And yep. And I'm going to do the final touches, clean up the windows inside the inside, do the last bit, and that's it. All right. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So the moment we all been waiting for here is the after results. Look how clean. Look how amazing the interior looks. The customer was super satisfied with this. The smell is literally gone it smells like that chlorine monoxide type of smell from the pns odor dock and just look at the seats like i told you from the leather coat it gives that satin to matte finish and that is it also for all the door panels and the dashboards you guys saw me in the video use the adams uh matte finish the interior uh dressing which is matte and odorless but yeah just look at it just amazing i hope you guys enjoy this type of content if you guys do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and other than that i'm out guys peace